Hi, Chad with Purple Color Life. You can see this is a little bit of a different video. We're not outside. We're currently at almost 4,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for that. And we've been doing this for almost one year that is making content on YouTube. And throughout this time, we've had several requests by email and in the comments to talk about what technology we use when making the videos. And today is kind of one of those opportunities. I've actually had a chance over the last week or so to test out multiple microphones. Uh, nine different microphones, in fact. Test one, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's test one, two, three, four. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Again, this is the microphone that is built into the laptop. Now I've switched to the Yeti microphone. So what you're hearing now is the Yeti blue microphone. Test one, two, three, four. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little demonstration of each of those nine microphones. And then at the end, of course, you have to wait till the clear to the end to see which one is my favorite, second and third place microphones um, and what I use them for, which is, you know, right off the bat here, I'll let, I'll let you know that I use these for voiceovers on video. I would use these for work from home meetings on Zoom, Skype um, or Teams or uh, SoundYard if you're doing live streams. So that's what this video is really about. It's just easy. USB plug and play microphones that you could use for a YouTube channel for voiceovers or for your work from home Teams, Zoom, Skype meetings. So stay tuned and I'll give the demonstration of each and then my thoughts at the end. Go ahead and click that like button if you haven't already. It really helps the channel out and we really appreciate it. As you can see from the thumbnail, I've got a whole bunch of microphones. I've had the opportunity over the last week or so to test out these microphones and see which one I like best. Now, over the year or so that we've been making videos, we've made over 200 videos, and in several of those videos, I've needed to make voiceovers. So that requires a pretty decent microphone. Nothing excellent new. I'm not, in this review, I'm not talking about anything that takes a lot of setup time or additional equipment. These are all USB or 3.5 millimeter plug and play microphones ready out of the box to start using with your YouTube channel. Now you can see the picture has changed here. That's because I've used, I'm using right now the webcam camera rather than the Canon connected to the uh, application I'm using to record this video. But you'll notice that the audio is also different because I've changed to the audio just for the webcam. So once again, this is the audio just for the webcam. Test one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's a little bit of a sound test there so we can compare between them. Again, test one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is the microphone that's built into the webcam, the Logitech webcam on my computer. Now we can switch at this point. Now I have changed the microphone again. This is the microphone that's actually built into my laptop. So you should hear a little bit of difference here. It's test one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Again, this is the microphone that is built into the laptop. Uh, so you're getting an idea of what the audio pickup is for that particular device. OK, now this audio should be a little bit different again. Now I've switched to the Yeti microphone. So what you're hearing now is the Yeti blue microphone. Test one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Once again, this is the Yeti microphone attached to the computer. It's a USB connection plug and play. OK, now I've switched the microphone once again. I am using the Logitech headphones. You can see they do have a built in microphone. And this is the audio I'm using here. Test one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Once again, this is the Logitech headphone with the built in microphone. And just for a comparison, I've gone back to the built in microphone on the webcam. So you can hear a little bit of a difference there. Test one, two, three, four. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. OK, you can see I've changed again here. I've got my headphones on. These are the Sony headphones, the noise canceling headphones, and I'm now using the Sony headphones as my microphone for this recording. Test one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Once again, this is using the Sony WH-CH700N headphones as my microphone. OK, I've switched the microphone again here. You should probably be able to hear a little bit of difference in that audio. This is the Rode NT Mini USB microphone. Once again, the Rode NT Mini. Check one, two, three, four. Test A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, a little bit of a difference there. Hopefully you can tell. We'll go ahead and switch microphones once again. Just so you can hear a difference, I'll switch back. So now you should be hearing my noise canceling headphones as my microphone. 
I've switched to the live webcam now as my microphone so you can hear that. And I've switched to the built in microphone on the laptop. So just in that brief little sec section of this recording, you should have heard quite a difference between those microphones. We'll go back to the Rode microphone. So that's what you're hearing right now is the Rode microphone. I'm going to unplug it to plug in a different microphone. OK, I've switched the microphone again. Now the microphone that you're hearing is the MXL USB.008. Now this is an older microphone, but this is a microphone I've had for quite a while. So once again, this is the MXL microphone. Test one, two, three, four. Check A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Once again, MXL USB-008. And now I've switched back to the headset once again to switch out the microphones here on the computer. OK, now this is a new microphone we're trying. This is the. Fifine. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I think it's Fifine technology microphone. Um, this is a little bit less expensive microphone, so see if you can hear a difference here. Check one, two, three, four. Test A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Once again, this is the Fifine microphone. Links for all these will be down below in the description. Now I'll switch back to my headset as the microphone and plug in a different microphone for you to hear. OK, now I've switched to the microphone on the Apple headphones. So this is a common setup that you'll see a lot of people using. Uh, I found in the beginning that this was a pretty decent setup. It's not horrible. It does pick up a lot of the background noise, like if, if there's vehicles outside running or you know other noise in the house, sometimes it does pick that up. But once again, a lot of people have these. This is the Apple headphones before Apple switched to the lightning port. So this has the three and a half millimeter uh, connection on it, just a regular microphone headphone connection on your laptop computer. Check one, two, three, four. Test A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now let me narrow this down to my top three choices. So you saw we've tested out nine different microphone setups here, and I just want to show you out of those nine, which are the three that I like the best. And remember, we're just talking about plug and play microphones here. No crazy audio setups, no sound boards, no additional power plugins. These are all USB connections directly to the computer. And uh, while there might be some settings on the actual microphone itself to choose the different microphone modes, the majority of these just have high, medium, or low pickup and uh, just kind of easy to use, which I think is, is important for many of us who are just YouTubers starting out. So the microphone that you're hearing me talk on right now is the Rode NT Mini. Once again, this is the Rode NT Mini. Test one, two, three, four. Check A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Rode NT Mini. And this is my third place in the microphone setups. Once again, this is the Rode NT USB Mini microphone. Now, second place in, in my preference here is the microphone that I've had the longest for my YouTube voiceovers. This is the MXL USB.008. I'm not even sure if you can still get this microphone. I'll try to put a link down below to this or a similar one, um, but this microphone wasn't super expensive, but I think is a good sound, especially for voiceover. It's got the pickup arrangement just towards the front, so it's not picking up a lot of background noise to the back or the sides of the microphone. I really like that so that I can just talk directly into it. It also works great for Teams meetings, Zoom meetings, Skype meetings, uh, StreamYard if you're doing any live streaming. So once again, this is the MXL USB.008. Test one, two, three, four. Check A, B, C, D, E, F, G. OK, I've switched the microphone here to my favorite of the bunch. This is the Yeti Blue, and I wasn't sure. You know, I thought there was a lot of hype about this microphone. I see a lot of information about it online, lots of reviews. Some people really like it. Some people don't like it so much. Some people say it's not worth the money. Um, but in my opinion, I like the modes on this one, so you can use this one multiple different ways. And I like the sound that I get from this one. Now, the Rode and the Blue Yeti, I think, have a very similar sound. The MXL, just I'm the most comfortable with it. So that's kind of why it became my second place one. But probably it, it would be really close to distinguish between these three. So once again, the Yeti Blue, check one, two, three, four, test A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is the Yeti Blue Blackout. And some of the things I like about it, um, it does have the same setup as my MXL microphone, where you can select for it to just pick the sound up directly in front of it, not picking up so much of the side or the background sounds. But you can also use it omnidirectional, so you can have it kind of in the center of a room and it would pick up 
sounds from multiple people. So if you were having a Zoom meeting or a Skype meeting and you could have this right in the center of the table, you could pick up all the participants as they talked. Great microphone for that. This also has bi-directional, so you could have two people facing each other like a meeting. It would pick up uh, front and back of the microphone. And then of course it's got stereo where it's picking up the whole way around it in stereo sound. Now, right now I'm using the Cardio ID, which means it's just picking up the front and a little bit of the sides. And I have the gain set just a little bit below G, so that's below the halfway point. Um, another thing I do like about this Blue Yeti is that you can connect your headphones directly to the bottom and you can adjust the volume of those headphones directly right here on the front of the microphone. It also has a mute button. So what I was saying there as I was muted is there's a mute button right on the front that you can push, which makes it so you can't hear me uh, as I'm talking. So you'd still see that my lips are moving, but you wouldn't hear me. It's actually really nice to have that mute button. You know, if you feel a sneeze coming on or if you need to just talk to someone real quick in the middle of a meeting, you can mute that so that the sound is not picked up. So once again, my one, two and three place position microphones after the testing of nine microphones, Blue Yeti came in at number one. My MXL USB.008 came in at number two, and the Rode NT Mini USB came in at three. Now, the other microphones were also good choices, but in my opinion, these were the three that worked best for me and my setup. Let me see if I can switch my camera here. Okay, I've switched to the, the Canon camera, and I'll do a separate video sometime. A lot of you have asked about what equipment we use. Um, so the Canon DSLR camera, uh, I use sometimes for meetings like this where I'm recording the meeting or I'm talking in the meeting. I like the picture that it gives a little bit better and we'll do a, a little bit more detailed review on that in the future. So I just wanted to show you that difference. You can tune into that video sometime in the future, but it also lets me show you the microphones. So here is that MXL USB.008 microphone. You can see it does have the little symbol on it showing that it's picking up sound from the front and a little bit around the sides. And it does have a high, medium, and low. So you can adjust the pickup gain velocity of this particular microphone. Like I said, I've had this a long time. Works great, nice microphone. Second one here is that Rode microphone. So a couple of things I like about it. It does have the ability to connect your headphones directly to it and you can adjust the headphone sound. The Rode is a USB connection and it shows you when you are connected. I like that about the Rode microphone. It does allow you to use connected headphones and you just push a button to tell it you want to use the headphones and then you can adjust the volume on your headphones right here with that. And here's the back of it where you can see you make those connections. Here's the USB connection and then there's the headphone connection. This does have a nice magnetic base, so it just kind of clicks onto its base. It's a nice little petite construction, so it doesn't take up a lot of room on your desk. So again, you know, close call in the first, second, third place, but I've got this Rode in the third place. Okay, now I've actually switched to the Rode microphone while I talked to you about the Blue Yeti, which if you'll recall, came in first place just in my little study here, in my opinion. So this is the Blue Yeti. Here's that mute button I was talking to you about. You see it's solid red when it's on and flashing red when you're muted. Um, on the back of this microphone, is where you've got that gain knob. You can see I've got it just a little bit below the G, so not huge gain. And the mode I have it in is what they call the cardio ID, but you can see you can switch the modes right here on the back for which sound pattern you're trying to pick up. So there you have it, my favorite three microphones for setting up for either uh, a work from home meeting or if you're doing voiceover on videos for YouTube, some of you have asked, we won't do a lot of these videos about the technology we use, but some of you have asked, what cameras do we use? What do we use for audio? So here's a sampling for when I'm in my office, what I'm using for audio, whether that's on a meeting or whether it's doing voiceover on the videos. And once again, currently you're hearing me on the Rode NT USB Mini. I'll switch that one last time to the Blue Yeti. And you're getting the sound from the Blue Yeti microphone right now. Now it's not actually right in front of me. So if I move it, I don't know if that makes a big difference or not, but I have moved it back in front of me. And then what many of us use for meetings just for a difference in sound. 
Now I've switched back to my headphones, noise canceling headphones, which is what I use a lot of times at meetings. If, uh, if I'm going to work or doing a Zoom meeting or a Teams meeting or a Skype meeting, most of the time these are the headphones I have on. And if I'm not with the whole microphone set up, uh, this is the audio you'd normally hear me on if we were in a meeting. So once again, thanks for watching this little bit different video about the technology we're using and the, the differences in these microphones. I was glad I was able to compare for you nine easy plug and play microphones that you can use for your uh, work from home meetings or with your web camera, or if you're doing voiceover or audio for your YouTube videos. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content here. Comment down below on what you use and what your experiences are when working with microphones. I know there's a lot of more advanced setups out there that, that have, you know, sound boards with them. This is not at all what this video is about. This video is just about simple setup and microphones that pretty much any of us can afford. Now, let me talk to you a little about pricing. The Logitech USB headphones, these are the model H390. And currently on Amazon, these are $25. They were $40. They're on sale right now. I'll put a link to all of these down below. My Sony noise canceling headphones are the WH-CH700N. These are about $188. The Blue Yeti USB microphone, currently $129.99. The Rode NT mini USB is $109.99. The Fifine USB K669B, uh, on sale right now for $29.99, Current, it's typically $35. And again, these prices are all as of the time of this video recording. Um, that MXO USB.008, currently not available on Amazon. It's a little bit older microphone, but I'll see if I can find sim something similar to put the link down below. And then of course the Logitech webcam mic. I don't know if they're all the same or not, and I don't know exactly what model that webcam is, but I'll put a Logitech webcam down below in the description the laptop built-in microphone, and the Apple headphones came with Apple phones years ago before they switched to the USB port. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video about microphones for YouTube voiceovers and work from home meetings. We'll see you again the next time.